did I become a diplomat in the Central African Republic? A white European with a reason to travel to a diamond producing country in Africa with diplomatic credentials is a very, very, very valuable piece of kit. Hello, my name is Mats Brugger. I am here in Melbourne for MIF with my film The Ambassador which is about how I purchase a diplomatic title, becoming the general consul for Liberia, a West African country, to the Central African Republic, um, which unfortunately I am not anymore because the president of Liberia wants me arrested and extradited to Liberia. You do it the way we will set you up to do it. You have a very high probability of success. Yes. Do it any other way. The worst you can hope for is that you end up dead in a ditch in Africa. I'm giving it to you on a plate. What what really left a mark on me was that it, in the Central African Republic, I was staying at a hotel, which is like the hub for people of power in the capital, Bangui. I had my consulate there, and in. Uh, on the premises of that hotel was a mentally disturbed man living. He walked around by himself talking to a branch. He had broken off a tree. But he wasn't, you know, harming anybody. So, you know, he was just left to do whatever he wanted to do by the people who was running the hotel. But every night at sunset, he would go to the banks of the river, the river Ubangi, which constitutes the border between the Central African Republic and the Congo. And for sometimes maybe half an hour, he would be screaming and shouting to the Congolese fishermen on the other side of the river. Uh, oh, fishermen of Congo, uh, please help me. I am trapped in a terrible nightmare, he would scream. And, and that happened, you know, almost daily. And, and, and I could clearly identify myself with him. At one point, I thought maybe he's the only, you know, uh, sane human being in the Central African Republic. And I also thought, you know, how desperate are you if you're screaming to the Congo for help? <laughs>